NWO Report Special News Update. An explosive eruption from Kilauea's summit on Thursday morning sent an ash plume soaring some 30,000 feet into the air. And officials are warning that ash emissions will cover a large part of the Big Island. The National Weather Service has issued an ash fall advisory after radar showed the massive plume. Hawaii Volcano Observatory officials confirmed that there was an explosive eruption around 4.15 a.m. local time, but they still have not yet to assess whether it was a stream-driven explosion that they have been warning residents about for several days. Meanwhile, Hawaii County civil defense officials say wind could carry the ash plume toward KU Volcano Mountain View, KU in as far as Hilo. The explosive eruption happened a day after at least 125 shallow quakes rattled Kilauea Summit in neighboring communities, causing minor damage to roads and buildings amid growing concerns about the violent steam-driven eruption that they warned about. Michelle Combs of the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said that the situation remains very, very active and very dynamic. Geologists say that the quakes are being caused by the ongoing deflation at the summit, and as lava levels continue to decline, as of Wednesday afternoon, the floor of the Kilauea caldera has dropped about three feet. The strongest quake in the area was a magnitude 4.4 and dozens more have been upwards of magnitude 3. Because the tremors are shallow, they cause greater shaking and increase the potential for damage. Residents also reported ash coating their cars, decks, and buildings as a result of recent volcanic activity. County officials went door to door Monday to hand out information about the ash fall in ways for residents to protect themselves from hazardous fumes and ashes. Due to the continued activities at Kilauea Crater and the Lower Eastern Flow, please be advised the following policies are in effect. Highway 11 near the entrance to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is open at this time, although the road has suffered minor cracking. All other highways are open. Local traffic only beyond checkpoints at Highway 130 by Pahoa High School and Highway 132 at Pohuiki Road intersection. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory advises everyone to be on the alert as volcanic gas is traveling downwind to Lower Puna, Volcano Village, and surrounding areas. Be on the alert for light ashfall and possible hazardous conditions across Kau, Puna, and Hilo districts. The Hawaii Fire Department reports air quality condition red in areas around Lanipuna Gardens and surrounding farm lots on Pohoiki Road. Condition red means immediate danger to health, so take action to limit further exposure. Severe conditions may exist, such as choking and inability to breathe. Sulfur dioxide gas from fissures are especially dangerous for elderly, children and babies, and people with respiratory problems. The residents of Puna are going through a very difficult time. We ask for your help and understanding. Thank you for listening. We are on watch 24 hours a day for your safety. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense.